Hello, I'm John Fox and Tom John West. I'm having a dang gang romper. V3 Killing Harmony Adventure. I meant to say that before they started talking, but whatever. Let's go back in. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever. It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi changes his. No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for this situation. I think... Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? One of us. That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said! I'm actually not the culprit! <laughs> Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yepers, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. Footage doesn't show anything. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? Okay, safety function. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Okay, that's wrong. I'm gonna listen. Horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Yeah, I'm just giving this. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage. <laughs> Kaito got crushed to death. That's wrong! Oh, you bastard, you got rid of the V. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. Safety function. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. Why didn't you bring this up? The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means, it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. 
No. I don't think Kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro- You do, of course, but No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there was a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Hang on, what? Um, I mean, there's loads, but... Uh, well, well the, the existence of a... There were three arrows in the bathroom, perhaps a victim was killed there? There should have been evidence of the body being carried by that... There was... Oh, God, damn, damn it! This is dumb. Like, it should be really obvious to everyone in the room. Okay, I know it's the blood stain now, but. This is it! This is it! There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Yeah, so that press is one person wide. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. Yeah. We might not be able to examine the body, but... We do have evidence to suggest a cause of death. Now it's the free arrows. There. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. This is small hole? No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. Hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day. <laughs> hey Miko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that the left that left the small hole in Kaido's sleeve. This is it! I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> a crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow <laughs> is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know. But I won't tell you! He's just playing with us. 
Then let's show him that playtime is over. Yeah! Down let's with the down! That the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? So I, had, I just had a thought. Um, like that just told me he doesn't care about hope and despair. He cares about truth and lies. That like that's the theme of the game, right? That's his theme. So he's not an end of the world cultist, is he? He's got him. He's a baddie. He's done something, but he is not a remnant of despair. He doesn't care about despair. He cares about truth and lies. The villain does care about truth and dis uh, about hope and despair. Hmm. Wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. That's wrong! Sorry, I didn't listen to the entire thing that time. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in. But you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now, let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial! So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What?! Are you after my small hole, too? <laughs> See? Now that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. <laughs> well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay! Then the culprit is Himiko! Wait! Don't say it's me! Maki's more suspicious! 
suspicious than I am. What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprit! Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. You're the only one who could have built it. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. <gasps> Freeway! Maybe I'm the culprit. culprit. I like it. it's divided up differently. Went to the, the number one suspect, because I was in the hangar. If you are the culprit, then explain the crossbow. That thing doesn't matter at all. I'm the number one suspect! I'm the one who shot Kaito! Okay, I already know which is the right one, but I'm gonna listen to them all. I'm the number one suspect culprit. The crossbow at the crime scene... ...did not come from me. Anyone could have gotten it from her research lab. Then who acts the number one suspect? Kokichi did, of course. Yeah. Why am I the number one suspect? I was only replenishing my magic. What do you mean, replenishing your magic? There's a good magic source around there. So I went there empty handed. The number one suspect. Ah! I heard it! I like that the robot was actually distracted for once. You that's... said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? So he couldn't have called her out because he was in a different conversation. What are you talking about? It's, it's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Th no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko. This is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. What? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh oh. Well, it's decided then. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! That is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. Um... Crossbar, I guess. Yeah, it's a complicated to assemble. Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. 
Yep, yep, that's true too. I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm-hmm, another true statement. And that's all. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. 100% exact, Amundo. Why does this all sound so fishy? Ah, Kokichi won't shut up! Get out of my head, Kokichi! That's true, too. I didn't even you. God damn. Ah! About there. Oh, bollocks. It's about there, but I missed. Consent. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? Well, she couldn't assemble it. The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? She didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? <laughs> they were gonna suspect me so i lied i really have to question your morals if you're blaming maki for your lie himiko i don't think you're allowed to say something like that i'm sorry maki please can you tell them the truth fine i'm not going to lie i didn't teach himiko how to assemble the crossbow she couldn't have used it you <laughs> just like I said everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now she changed back so fast I think I might have whiplash now then why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar Himiko I was asked to asked to perhaps the person who asked was Kaito! That's it! Was it... Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. <laughs> nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. <laughs> But to think that Kaito asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaito is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. 
Yeah. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Does it look super suspicious? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. And then Kaito died and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. <laughs> This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little. And then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was, uh... You know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No. He said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. There's, and there's proof of that. Look, um... Okay, yeah, sorry, that I was dumb. Wrong. I was wrong! This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. That doesn't prove they both fired him, it just... The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Just means they were both shot by a crossbow. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? Then it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what's she know? Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Yeah, and it was stupid that you did. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. 
His voice is even coming from the Exosol. Yeah, but so did the other guy's voice. It didn't matter. I heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier. God damn, did why it did it take Monokuma to figure that out? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? Yeah, you knew that. Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. <laughs> He's talking differently. It's good acting. The luminary of the stars has arrived. This time for real. What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. I'm sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. What? Kaito's alive after all? No. Maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is that really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does that story end with Kurto or Kukichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question, and soon. Am I going to do a brain dive? I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case... I don't know. It's gotta be Kaito, it's his body. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground! Yay, we're gonna have a robot in this one. Split decision. Oh, the robot doesn't go up. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. But he said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Maki! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of... Maki! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. 
But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the master. Maki! The mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Oh, bloody hell, I'm really weak from, like, drinking. Like, I couldn't press very fast. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So, if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow... Then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi, too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! <laughs> but only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. No, three arrows. So how could they both shoot each other? My wound is still aching something fierce. The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one was fired. Oh, that was a V. No, that's wrong. Wait, Himiko. What do you mean, one arrow? I repeatedly say... Huh? It's a one arrow, so... What? Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! That's interesting. Well then, that's strange, because... There were definitely three arrows at the scene. There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Even told me to only 
only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only bought one. What is going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko is lying. Maki bought them? There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. Uh, the most simple answer that I've overlooked is that Kokichi did kill Kaito, and then Maki killed Kokichi. It just doesn't seem that interesting to me of an answer. Uh, because then Maki would still get away with it, because it, was the, it wasn't the body that was discovered. What is this? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Go after my sex. Dance to December. Don't think that's the lyric, John. Oops. What a weird mini game. How many hours did Himiko give Kaito? One. Next question. Were all the arrows inside the hangar? From the start? No. Good. Just realized that's what it was saying there. I'm dumb sometimes. Uh. Who bought the uh, additional ones? I don't know. I feel like that was what we were trying to discover. <laughs> Who bought the extra arrows? Well, Mackie is the obvious answer, but... A third party. Pass through the center? arrows were brought in by a third party we will answer that question in the next episode i've been john foxy on tunnel john of the west i've been having a dang gam on but that's not the safe screen john i've been having a dang gam on v3 killing harmony adventure we're gonna dance to dismember that's not what it says uh i'll see you guys next time thank you thank you for watching